So there's a few people who want to turn my whole let's fight for police and justice system reform into a problem. Facts. Police corruption is a widespread problem all throughout America and the world. Facts. Being a Blue Lives Matter supporter doesn't protect you from corrupt cops and it does not protect you from a corrupt justice system. You want proof? Hi. So for those of you who are heavily pro-police and want to turn everything bad about cops on the internet into something that is a big to-do, I used to be one of you. I used to viciously defend the police and support them when it came to arguments online. I used to feel safe walking into a restaurant full of cops or sheriff's department employees. I used to feel safe knowing that I could call the cops if anything ever went wrong. I used to believe the police were there to serve and protect. After the amount of digging that I have done, knowing that this has been a problem even when I did support police, thinking that it was just a few bad apples, here's the reality. And the fact that someone does not like this reality is not going to make it any less true. Truth does not change because someone doesn't like it. So, the fact is, here's the truth. Are you ready? All right. The fact of the matter is, it's more than a few bad apples. There are some towns, like Henderson County, North Carolina, where the corruption is root deep. Where the corruption has been that way for so long that it involves founding families. Henderson County is not the only one. It is not just in America. It is throughout the world. That is a fact. There are entire counties that have turned into rotten apples. Judges, lawyers, sheriff, police, it doesn't matter. And those are the ones that need to be cleaned out and start over. Unfortunately, Henderson County has gotten so bad that the only way to reform the police here locally is to fire everybody all across the board and start over. Investigate every case by every lawyer and disbar the ones that they find a problem with. Investigate all the judges and fire the ones that they are finding false convictions with. If the false conviction leads back to something the judge did on purpose or got paid for. Now, I'm going to call out the SBI on something, and I don't care what state the SBI is in. This is for all of you. Hopefully some of you have seen my videos. Whether you disapprove or not, that's fine. That's your right to disagree. But I hope you guys have seen some of my videos and you know what I stand for. I challenge the North Carolina SBI because it needs to start somewhere. When you find a problem with a police officer or a police department that you have investigated... Whether you force them to resign or fire them, it doesn't matter. Ban them permanently from any career in any kind of law. Whether it be a lawyer, a judge, or a police officer, sheriff's department, security. Anything that puts them in a position of power. 
Make their records public. Don't seal them anymore. The public wants to know about things like this. Stop allowing cover-ups in tourist counties and states. So what? It'll hurt tourism. But families get hurt in the long run when nothing is done. When the Asheville Police Department had a problem, what did they do? The ones that got fired? Well, they came right over to Henderson County and made Henderson County's problem even bigger. That cycle must stop. So hopefully somebody from the SBI or the FBI or someone within a posi position of power to take this advice into account and put it into a way that can be enforced, that would be great. When an officer is corrupt, the public suffers. The public deserves to know. Stop sealing records. They must all be public. Ban them from any position of power with law enforcement. They, can't even, they shouldn't even be able to work security. They can have any other career that they want to. Then go be a doctor or whatever, which I wouldn't recommend if they're that big of a bully to get fired from the police department. But bar them from any kind of job involving the law. That's the only thing that will make a big start in police reform other than better education for the police on the laws they should be enforcing. There are other things. Those are two big factors. Now, going back to Blue Lives Matter. I used to have a Blue Lives Matter flag on the back of my car. In fact, there's a video on my TikTok where I scratched it off when I got my car out of impound. If you think having that Sheriff's Association or whatever association or Blue Lives Matter or any flag supporting emergency services, if you think that will stop you from suffering under the corrupt justice system, or by a corrupt officer who decides that they do not like you and tries to frame you or set you up for something like what happened to me. That sticker doesn't do shit for you. So don't come to my channel and complain trying to cause a problem and a big to do because it's not going to work. It's not going to make your opinion valid. I am starting something that is bigger than myself. The slogan, War Machine Declares War on Police Corruption, is a start to unite Americans to fight for a change for the better. It is a slogan everybody can use regardless of race, age, Gender, it doesn't matter. But united we stand, divided we fall. And the minute you get on my YouTube channel or anybody else's and attack somebody because they've been through shit that you haven't been through, you become a part of the problem. You become a part of divide and conquer. And that's on you. So don't come to my channel and bitch and moan and try to make a complaint over stupid shit, petty shit, shit that doesn't matter, childish shit, high school shit. I'm not having any of that. I'll just turn the comments off. Why? I'm too damn old for drama. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. I have one, you have one, everybody has one. Don't come on my channel and be all negative just because something like what I've been through hasn't happened to you. Just because your family member or your friend worked for the police 
retired from the police. I don't give a flying fuck. What I do give a fuck about is I am starting a movement that will start a change for the better if it will pick up. And my movement has nothing to do with your family or friend that is working for or is retired from police, sheriff, or whatever. Absolutely nothing. And the only way my movement would have anything to do with those people is if they were a part of something corrupt in their own town, county, or state. And then that's on you. That's on them. I don't hate all police or sheriff's employees. I don't feel safe around them anymore. I don't trust them anymore. That's not going to change. I have suffered a spinal injury that has been keeping me from a well-paying job. I have suffered a wrongful conviction because I feared for my life. I have suffered losing service animals that helped me with mental issues from my childhood. I have lost my freedom, my will to live, and so much more. And until that happens to you, find someone else's channel to start drama with. You can comment and you can tell me all that you want that I don't know what it's like to be a police officer. You lost my sympathy right fucking there. No, I don't. And no, I don't give a shit what it's like to be a police officer. And do you know why? Because I once did. And where did it get me? I dialed 911 expecting to be kept safe, and my life was ruined instead. My health has gone downhill due to my back and due to stress. My money situation has gone to shit. I have lost everything I loved and cared about because somebody saved my life and the police had a problem with him. So don't come to my channel with that crap. I used to care about what it would be like to be an officer dealing with the things they deal with every day. And what happened to me caused me to lose all sympathy. And what happened to me, I lose all sympathy by Blue Lives Matter extremists who try to bombard me with negative bullshit. That means absolutely nothing to me. That does not help the Blue Lives Matter cause. That hurts it. Now, I refer to Blue Lives Matter as the Blue Mafia, because that's what the homeless call the police here in Hendersonville. Granted, I can go to other states or towns if I notice they're not stalking me and harassing me. Yeah, you're alright. You're pretty cool. If I get a thumbs up by the, someone from the sheriff's department in freaking Georgia, which has happened a multitude of times, well, thank you. You must be one of the good ones because here you are. You're driving a law enforcement vehicle and you're giving me some form of compliment. That tells me that you are one of the good ones. Now, if there are any good officers who do pay attention to my channel, to this I say thank you for your service. There are not enough of you out there. But there are, is a saying. And the saying goes, if there are any good police officers out there, or sheriff's department employees or anything like that, they would be exposing the bad ones. So please, to you I say, please help stop the divide between citizens and law enforcement by exposing the ones in your department that you know to be corrupt or to be bullies, or are not there to serve and protect. That is a big role in reform, is the good officers pushing back against the bad ones.
And when you don't do that, you get counties like Henderson County. Feel free to name any counties in the United States that have a similar issue to Henderson County. No, I don't think it's the only one on the planet or in the United States that has this problem. But this is the county where I suffered from a broken justice system, where I suffered from corrupt cops who framed me. Why? There's the picture. I couldn't believe it when I was told. And I've heard it multiple times. Framed. Set up. Framed. Set up. I've heard it by other people. I've heard it from officers. None of them will give me their name. They're all too afraid. So, when you tell me you don't know what it's like to be a police officer, are you telling me that this, this is okay? Because that is the impression you give people when you attack them. Because they have been through a lot of shit at the hands of a corrupt department. You don't send the message of, oh, well, they do their best. That's not the message you send. The message you send, it's okay to do this. And I am not the only person Henderson County has done shit like this to. And I will not be the last. That is what I want to put a stop to. If it was up to me, what they did to me would be the last time they did that to anybody. And I will do my damnedest to make sure that it stops with me in some way, shape, or form. But until then, I'm going to keep fighting. Yes, I have hatred in my heart for Henderson County right now. But only the law enforcement that is corrupt. I have trouble after what I have heard about Henderson County believing that there are good officers. I have been told by multiple people, you have to be... You have to agree to be involved in human trafficking in order to pass the police academy here. Okay? That's what I question because I sit there and I listen to the locals. I listen to what they have to tell me and they see my car and they tell it to me freely. But they wish to remain anonymous most of the time because there are people in this county who are afraid. So, you know what? I have done my homework. I have talked to actual human beings. And if it goes on my car or it goes online on one of my car's profiles, then I have heard it from multiple people who do not know each other. So don't come and attack me because I am willing to gain knowledge. On a problem that I am trying to put a stop to. If you don't have the balls to do it within your county or your state. And you don't have the balls to stand up for your own freedom. Then don't come to me and complain for being one of the people that does stand up. Take the Blue Lives Matter. And you don't know what it's like to be a police officer. And blah blah blah. Take it somewhere else. I used to be one of you. And let me tell you, what happened to me could happen to you or anyone you love. You just think about that. You think of that autistic family member or friend who could have the same thing happen anytime. You think of someone who couldn't live without their animals. You think of that. Because I thought it wouldn't happen to me. I thought following the law would keep me out of jail. It does not keep you out of jail when the police put a target on your ass. And it started with me when they started harassing me and following me and stalking me to the point that I lost $10,000 in income back in 2021. Out of fear of going to work, I would have panic attacks. Thinking about going to work, they would wait for me to pull out of a parking lot. They would follow me down the road and pull me over three times before I got to work. Why? Because that's what they do to homeless people here. 
I've been on the good end of the stick with Henderson County when I lived in a house. And it didn't matter what problem this car had or what it looked like. They did not pull me over back then. Why? Because an address I had to go home to. Don't talk about things you know nothing about. It's just plain ignorant. 